is going on everybody kj wiggums back with another episode on bucks county and before we get the 4840 and we start doing some potato planting i wanted to run you guys back here and show you the new addition to the farm so after the update video that came out last saturday and some talking with some people on discord and facebook i uh, came up with the decision that taking up part of field 38 uh, would have been the best part uh, I think it worked out the best and we didn't take up much of our potato field that we are currently working on so back here we now have this new road that cuts into our grass field and we have a new shed and a new silage clamp that we are going to start filling uh, I'm hoping that we could probably get one cut off of this field right away and get it in here so we have a decent size uh, silage clamp there and then we have a nice size shed here that we are going to be able to start moving some equipment around I'll probably end up storing like the uh, truck in here and some of the trailers for now uh, just clearing up that pad for whatever it may be and possibly we could throw some potatoes in here all the way in the back there and store some potatoes in here until we figure everything out not quite sure on that so let us go ahead let us get started on uh, getting our potatoes in so we are not running out of too much time all right so we are loaded up we are headed up here to the field and we are gonna put our first crops in for year three and we're finally going to get the potatoes sorted and I want to leave enough room around the edges so we can put a headland of oats all the way around I think that will be good there let's turn that on actually I don't think you turn it on I think you just have to lower it right yep perfect and now the other thing that I am doing is I have my wheel hooked up and I'm going to try that out and see exactly how this is going to work. So let's get all that situated. And here we go. All right, this is this has actually got me pretty excited. I'm I've been ready to get these potatoes in the ground, and. I think it's going to be a good expansion for the farm. It's definitely going to bring us in a decent amount of money. Uh, so we will have to still look at getting the potato washer and the sorter. I think that will be good there. Let's raise that up. Let's get turned around and realigned. Um, and with our money back up to $90,000, I do think we might be able to buy that this year. Uh, but I do want to get everything sorted uh, first before we decide what we're going to do. Because we still have to store the potatoes and everything like that too. So, alright, let's see. Right about, back up a little bit I think. Drop that down there. Perfect. We're going to put in this next line. Uh, this is awesome. I am noticing that the way the... I'm, I'm assuming it's the way the map is done. That the furrows are not running the exact direction that we are. That's alright. That's just... That's farm sim logic right there. So Let's go ahead. We'll come up to the end here. Right about there would be good. Bring that up. Alright, so let me go ahead and I think we're going to kick this off into a time lapse getting this part of the field done. And we will see where we are at uh, after that.
Alrighty, we are coming up to about quarter, just quarter of one o'clock, and that is the potatoes planted here in this field. Now, I think it's going to take me the rest of today to get the other field completely done as well. And I'm going to go along with a similar pattern of just running from one end to another and then leaving some area for us to plant some oats. I was contemplating on possibly not doing the potatoes in this lower field. Uh, we went through about 1060 liters uh, just doing that field so I'm anxious you know I'm kind of curious to see what we'll get off of that once harvest time comes and you know this field down here is just as big and I was thinking that if we didn't do oats down or if we didn't do potatoes down here we probably could get away with one more year of oats but I think we'll have enough oats uh, just from the outsides and if we need to we can always go buy some as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this field completely done with the uh, potatoes and then we will see where we are after that so I will see you guys in just a second Alrighty, here we are at just about uh, five past nine, and we are putting in our last strip here on our potato fields, and that is all of our fields uh, planted with potatoes done and dusted. Uh, I got about 437 liters left out of here, and we are really not we really don't have too much that we can do for the rest of tonight uh, that over there again took uh, almost 2,000 liters of potatoes compared to field 41 which took uh, just under 1100 liters so that's not too shabby at all we still have day nine yet to get our wheat in the ground so let's bring up the seasons menu here or I'm sorry our oats so we still have day nine to get our oats in which is probably going to be a later harvest uh, but I'm hoping that it all works out and we're able to get everything done because you can see our potatoes down here harvest it ends the same time as the oats do so We'll have to see how that goes. I think what I'm going to do is we are going to go ahead, run up and go to sleep, and then we will catch back up in the morning. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are on day nine, and it is just about 6.30 in the morning, and we are cruising around, and we are putting the oats along the outside edge of our potatoes that we just planted. I think for this field down here, it's going to take, uh, it's going to be about a headland and a half. Uh, it's not taking up the whole thing, and probably pretty similar up top as well. For that field so we'll see how we get along I wanted to bring you in you can see we got some areas like this where it's probably just gonna be the one headland and then certain areas where it's a lot wider uh, what I ended up doing last night was for this field I went around with the uh, cultivator and just straightened up the edges a little bit I think our other field is too small for that I don't I think I would have taken out more crop than we needed uh, but I think this just helped 
with being able to come through and making sure that the entire field is as nice and neat as possible when coming through so we'll get this one done now putting the oats in the ground it's definitely not going to take as long as the potatoes uh, we will have enough seed in just this tank uh, to do both fields but I am noticing that I am getting short on uh, oats for the horses so what I am looking into is purchasing another field and getting some clover in because if let me uh, let me do this real quick so if we look in here you can see that the horses take oats alfalfa windrow or a clover windrow so I think that if we purchase a uh, clover field that we will be able to I can't get my cruise control there we go I think that that will help uh, with the oats and we already have the equipment for it I just have to find a clover field I haven't looked at the maps yet to see if there are any fields with clover in it right now uh, so fingers crossed that we have one I know that they have I think it was the one on the other side of field, um, what is it, field 38, so what is that, field 37, I think had grass or something like that in it, so maybe we'll get lucky there. If not, uh, it's no big deal, we'll just run down to the shop and pick up some horse feed and bring back until our oats are ready to harvest at the end of autumn. So that is, I'm pretty sure that's going to be this field completely done. Uh, I think we have uh, just the right amount of room on this last end. We have to get our sprayer and get herbicide on the field already. You can see the weeds are sticking up, coming through. Nope, oh, we're going to have to run down this edge. That's all right. There we go. And that should be that field done got here turn on my flashers and then we'll head up here to the next field and we will go ahead and get our lap done around there now we are nearing summertime tomorrow is going to be the first day of summer uh, so with that we are going to start some grass work we do have some preparation that we have to do on the field I think I have to check and see what our field status is when it comes to fertilization. I'm pretty sure our potato and oat field now should be 100% fertilized. If not, we have the compost for it. And if they are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that compost and I'm going to put it onto our grass field as just an extra state. Uh, to help boost that up a little bit so we can start getting the silage rolling on there so let us get that started up and put down and we will cut in and here we go getting our next field of oats put in around the headlands for the potatoes I do think that this is going to be uh, very beneficial for us so let me get this field done and then I will see you guys in just a second. Alrighty, that is field 39 completely done. And I'm hoping I will be able to pull out of here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that turn tight enough without any of the collisions catching. Uh, it caught there a little bit, but we got through. Perfect. Alright, so that took 30% uh, of our seed for this, so that's not too bad. I uh, got both fields done. Now, I do kind of wish I would have done the cultivating around this field as well, because as you can see, like we have some spots like this that we just were not able to get because the edges were not as clean as you know down below where we cultivated so we're gonna have some bare spots in here 
but I think overall, I think the seed's going to take very well, and we're going to have a nice crop out of that. We will go ahead and catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and as always, happy farming.